right? So the first one is foundational, right? There's three stages. There's foundational, there's building, and then there's developing leaders. We're going to focus on this one today, right? All right, so, so think about it. If you want to build, if you, want, if you look at your SANA, at your income and your SANA as a building, if you want a high, stable building, you would first have to build a solid foundation. You agree? You don't, you don't build a skyscraper on the sand that needs to be built on the rocks on a good foundation. Next. All right, so this is the most crucial part. The part where only you can see the winds and changes. Now, what does that mean? When you're going through this change, you might not see it. You might not see it in your bank account. But you need to understand, you can feel the change every week you're in your family. You can feel it in your health. You can feel it in your skin. You can, feel, you can feel it from a product point of view. You can also feel it from a personal development point of view. Because every time you're getting activated or you beat yourself up or you're getting irritated, you're actually, that's a chance to go, well, what is that all about? Self-reflection. And then as you grow, and then the little voice in your head gets quieter, and then you start becoming more peaceful and just dealing with it and getting better at going through the process. Most people at that point, they quit because it's uncomfortable. You need to understand when you're uncomfortable, that means you're going to be a different person next week. Because if you say, all right, avoid being uncomfortable, avoid, next week's the same. So then why do people get resigned and they get cynical? Because nothing's changing because they're avoiding being uncomfortable. So in your sana, we make you uncomfortable. If, if, if I'm leading somebody, if I don't intentionally make them uncomfortable, they're going to quit. Now, I want to make them uncomfortable to the stage where they're enjoying it and it's actually, it's like, oh, but thanks, and then you help somebody through it. But you need to make people uncomfortable. Sometimes when you bring somebody in, we don't, oh, they might do that, I might lose them, or I might pressure them. They're going to leave anyway. You need to actually be a stand and actually, but you're not pressuring them as in bullying them, you're actually but encouraging them and really getting them to get uncomfortable a little bit because then when you're uncomfortable so you see yourself a certain way and then once you're uncomfortable and you push through it you change the way you see yourself your occurring of yourself shifts but if you see yourself oh i'm not going to do that and you don't do it and then you don't push through it and you don't do it you still see yourself as i'm not capable of doing that that's not even true that's just an illusion so we actually have to push through it and then you go, oh, that was easier than I thought it was. And then it's the whole business is just constantly, oh, that was easier than I thought it was. You're almost coming up against a limit. All right, so that's what that means. All right, so 80% is attitude, mindset, and beliefs. 20% is the skills, right? The skills, anybody can learn the skills, but before you would even want to learn the skills, you need to get this pump sorted. And then this gets actually quite easy when you're actually all in, focused on, all right, I need to learn this skill one skill two, skill three, and so the first thing is this, next. So if you can develop the right mindset and attitude, the skills will follow long term. 